What trace of the AI I have? I mean, here's the thing. The mob is your AI. doesn't have the best traits. Perhaps we have some common ground. Benevolent, cool-headed, vindictive. Pillager, which is double money from ransacking. And Russia attacks people on site. So he's going to be pretty aggressive, but that's it. He's clearly been... Oh. Are you harap? No. Orange was harap. Uh, green was harappans. Because your population is ridiculous. But then again, you have a 47. So I'm getting the impression that the big difference between nation and empire is the AI gets a food bonus, which is how they're getting these populations. Might be stealing population too. Surprise war him? Hell no. I'd get stomped. Surprise war Thebes though. Maybe. But I want to make sure I have my garrison set up first. The Empire was has made impressive strides in becoming a building powerhouse, the envy of the world. Now though, to maintain this momentum, you must ensure you have a reliable stream of workers who will work tirelessly on your great construction projects. From where will you find these thralls? So bonus population per Ranzak. Or commons quarters produce more food and industry. Mm, right now, neither. Though, I always forget that this exists. Because if you get war slaves with like Norse, or Assyria, or the Huns, or Mongols, that becomes incredibly powerful. Just Ranzak everything. An agrarian star. Okay, so we're getting the stars. We're not actually that far away from early modern. One technology in two turns. Dished air caviar discovered by the English. You continue running over here. Take a look around. Four more turns until you're established. Fine. With 15 farmers' quarters, you'll soon be needing another 15 quarters just for food storage. So how much of the world is green? <laughs> That's a world religion right there. Got one tiny little hideout, a uh, holdout, which is the Mycenaean shamanism. Like the remnants of Quill's religion, but everyone else is converted to green. Except for Quill. Quill's the only one that hasn't. Right, you build me an outpost here again. And you basically stay and keep watch there. Actually, I am tempted. Your stability is actually excellent. Let's intersperse you a bit more. Make sure we actually get the barriers built that we can. Rome, that goes to 37. That's fine. You don't have any others that you can do. Ah, you can spend influence on these, and I think I will. We're at the stage where influence generation is pretty good. And those resources are worth a lot. Pox on the wind. Today, the Empire spans many cities, enjoys a period of peace. However, while citizens worry less about the horrors of war, other fears prey on their minds. The citizens are afraid. The city squares rife with hearsay. Rumours across the land speak of a terrible malady, laying entire communities to waste. The sufferers bloodied and bedridden. What will you do? 
So we can go into lockdown, which gives us a bunch of stability, actually. You know what? I'm going to take the stability. I think that's going to be pretty valuable. Right, what cultures are available? The only one that's been taken is Horden Sony. So I would actually be the second person in early modern. Oh no, the others transcended. Right. And the reason that Marba's era is 4,800 points is because he's two eras ahead. Well, one era ahead. And that kind of checks out. I might want to stay in the Middle Ages a bit longer just to keep farming fame. Uh, I can almost certainly get the population. I can definitely get the buildings, and I really should get the buildings. And I need to get two more kills. And Whether or not the world goes hungry, with 30 farmers quarters... You have unlocked seafaring. Ah, to safely travel the dangerous, hungry oceans. You can cause trouble anywhere you want now, and have a better chance of getting away with it. Cosmos EXE, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. So yeah, we can now build those. Scientist Star has been unlocked, and we can indeed go to the next era. But part of the th reason I don't want to go up yet is I want those barrays, and I want them built quickly. Those are some hostile units. Uh, that's maybe okay. It's going to take me a while to get there. Ah, you can... Oh, no, the transport's not the cog. The fighting ship's the cog. Right, so if I move you back here, then I can upgrade you. Yeah. Alright, so you're going to go for a 30 combat to a 33. Do it. Do it. You can actually do that. And you will be safe. And then Babylon's production is going to skyrocket. I mean, Zippar's production is already bloody excellent. Rome's, it's all right. Your population's actually maxed almost. No, it's not. Your production should be like so. If I buy horses from Shenrir, then I can actually mount you up. Welcome. Let us speak honestly with each other. 334, 339. I'm going to go for the 34. Bye. And then the other one we're trading with are the Greetings Aztecs. from me and my people. You're a militarist, that's why yours is ticking up. Fair enough. The other saffron are going to be too expensive for me right now. Right. Okay, I'm going to take a quick three minute break. So if you need to take a break, I would recommend you do so now. I'm going to run an advert, seeing as I'm not here anyway. So three minutes, everyone, three minutes. And then we shall come back to this. And see just how far we can get before dying horribly. Three minutes. Okay, Harvey, thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Oh, what a great name and a great way to come back into the game. <laughs> Alright, switching back to humankind. Because I realise I often say, okay, or so, or hey, and stuff like that. And just, you know, coming in with the okay, Harvey. I like it. Works. Smooth. Babylon's population is growing. Jolly good. Aztecs now feel differently. Positive? Greetings Positive. from me and my people. Alright, sweet. So how is all the production going? You're all doing good things, actually. Wistred is ready to join us again. You're trying to loot my bits down there. So we do have an army under production. And what's attacking me? Two pikemen and a crossbow. We'll have two units next turn. If we attack them from up here, we will have the high ground, but they'll be able to shoot me. Hmm. The 
And Slack's call is actually quite big. We could try to take that. Bring enough troops across. Lead, stability, and science per researcher. That would be pretty good. Those are dyes, which just provide straight upgrades. Um, one, two, three, four, five. That crossbowman will be the last unit in this defensive force, which we will then place here. And tell to garrison. Osmosis. 400. Science. Sweet. Garner feels differently. So tell me, Friendly. how are you today? See, at this point, Garner, I feel like we probably could become friendly. We would all benefit from... Alright. We're allied to Shen. Come. Both our peoples need this. And I will agree to a non-aggression pact with you, Aztecs. Which actually frees me up to go after Thebes. Mount Vesuvius. You've discovered Mount Vesuvius. A smoldering presence dominating the skyline, inspiring awe and fear in equal measure. And of course, Mexico got there first. Pa. Loving what I'm watching, so I couldn't help myself and followed. <laughs> nice. And you can chill there. That works for me. Cpar has finished building everything. It's going to have actually a lot of extra space for some extra districts but i think at this point i want to start getting some of the infrastructure going you and you and you you and you and you and then the science places so 16 turns worth of infrastructure seems fine to me and then honestly babylon kind of needs to do the same thing because that's where we're falling behind is the infrastructure levels and this is going to let me get those building buildings up nice and quickly. Unfortunately, I don't think I can quite reach their units over there. That's a lot of mountains. Chi Hu Ha Huan found. Where's that? Chi Hu Ha Huan. Sterile terrain. Oh, okay, so it's just a feature as opposed to a natural wonder. And you're building crossbows up there. I'd rather you didn't. So you have another crossbow coming out. You need two crossbows for that. You're going to need three Praetorians and one, two crossbows for that. So let's get one more crossbow and then three Praetorians. And that should keep you going for the time being. We still have the money for this, so we are maintaining a massive military. Oh, that doesn't go anywhere useful. How about we go this way? Okay, now you two can join that. Your barret is almost finished. This will drop you down to 43... 33. And then, honestly, I don't think I necessarily need those built. We can instead go straight on to the production buildings. Uh, 
and yes, and the influence and the science get you caught up to. Mexico is influencing more and more. Mexico is influencing more and more. And 5th, 6th and 7th are catching up rapidly. And you are getting closer and closer to industrial. The top three AIs really do seem to be growing incredibly quickly. Alright, now we've got four troops here. Let's go and march over to go and take you on. We've still got the two crossbows outstanding, but that's okay. Now, does this start a battle? No, not quite. And we've got you guys arriving as well, which could also do with another two crossbows. So you know what? Let's get two more crossbows. Because the new world is going to need a lot of defenders. So the fact that we're building, like, entirely new garrisons out here, I think is totally fine. A new independent people. And who are they? Time will tell if they are helpful, helpless, or history. Um, didn't need to spend much time. They're clearly not very helpful. Seeing as they're like, oh, new people attack them. They must die. Strangers. Alright, the crossbows can head over to here, but before we do that, I want to be at Rome. Where's Rome? Before they escape. There we go. This is going to get me the two kills that I need so badly as well. Yes, sir. Okay then. The crossbows are honestly the ones I was the most concerned about. Let's kill it. March! Oh yeah. And that gives me the high ground over here. And you guys are on a river. Let's kill them first though. Ah, oh, and then you can attack them. There we go! Oh, whoops, they skipped and then I skipped completely. But that's okay, we got the militarist star from this. So we would need to kill another 10 to gain that one. We need another two technologies, which is not unreasonable, and 11 population, and two buildings. Yeah, we're actually really close to getting like another four stars. Sir, so I'm happy waiting. What do you say? You hmm. want to trade? Fascinating. Uh, not to. I mean, you are miles away from me, so I'm going to say go ahead. More chance that they'll buy materials and resources from me. And now we're losing money. But that's okay, because we're not actually using very many market districts or anything yet. Now, you, I think I want to have returning home, if you can get there. And the crossbows join Sipar. Ah, these guys can now upgrade to great swords. So their attack will go from 33 to 35, except for the fact that if they have their flanking bonus, their attack is 36. So I don't think I actually want to upgrade to great swords. Dragons of the battlefield. Tales of other empires, armies boasting fire breathing engines is spreading like. <coughs> Wildfire through your own ranks, striving interest in weapons powered by gunpowder. Now, one such scorched and blackened armament has been scavenged from a recent battlefield. What should you do with it? So we can display it. We get speed for ten turns. We can study it. Gain experience. Or we gain a free unit. Oh, we got Archibuses. Okay. Let's send you over to Sipar because that's where things are the most 
tents, shall we say. I just realized Mexico already has archidesers, which means he's already got gunpowder. Which means we're actually kind of far behind in technology race. Despite the fact that I started as Babylon, which is a science civ. But I think that's probably because I wasn't focusing science very heavily. As in, population wise. Yeah, I was going to say, haven't we already won? So, what do you say? Yes, I cannot dispute the benefit in that. And then we have our one Praetorian. We've got another three Praetorians on the way. Two crossbows are already on their way. Once those three Praetorians are done, then we'll have all of the troops that we need. Which is good, because huh, the cost is rising rather heavily. Alert and With 15 maker's quarters, your biggest worry may be where all the workers will eat and sleep. Sounds like you've been gimped by the Forever War with Quill. Um... It put us back a bit, certainly. But I had to call his bluff then, otherwise he would have attacked me when I was much weaker. Sipar is not growing properly. That is not good. Sipar is not growing properly because you are over your population limit. Which would suggest to me that we need to build some other stuff. Especially food production. I think we'll probably do right there. Maybe also right there. A few forests. You are. If I want to get the extra science though, it would have to be a farm. farmer's quarter there though. So let's get those as soon as this water mill is finished and that'll help our food production. Yeah! Okay, so you're gonna go into there, you're gonna go into there, you three are gonna go into there. We still have a fair amount of money. Now I'm kind of wondering With the armies that I have, do I want to go after Tlaxcala and see if I can take it? I think I kind of do. Let's have you attach. That's going to help out a little bit. And then... Haha! Lerner's finished. So Lerner can now become a city. Izanapura, which will attach you. And then Izanapura needs to do stuff as well. And geez, you start with a lot of kit. Let's do that. So first things first. We're going to put a couple of barrows down. There's a couple of places where the barrows are freaking phenomenal. And your stability is not as high as that other city's stability started. Um, but that's okay. Those barrows will get down in no time. And then that basically suggests that I need you or somebody else. Will do. Yeah, good. You can sail across here. To come back and claim this region. So that we can make use of all of these rivers. There's the other Builder Star. Maya have become early modern with Mughals. Isnapura's population's grown. Resources being sold and the Mughals feel dead. I do not live for revenge, you but I could pleasant. die for it. Um, right, how far are we? We need one more population 
two more technologies. I'm not so sure that we'll hit the two techs. The one pop we can definitely do. And it's a lot of fame. That's a lot of fame. Thirteen more buildings. Three thousand five hundred. We are still third. Sorry, we're still fourth. If we get those fames, we'll almost certainly become third. Really happy this is out. Haven't started my journey in it yet, but finally got to see uh, some week. No. I'm really happy this is out. Haven't started my journey in it yet, but finally got some time this weekend to sink into it. Looking forward to gorgeous graphics and some fun star hunting. Enjoy it. I, I'm sure you will, because I've been having an absolute blast. I have a proposition for you. Absolutely, Garner. Absolutely. Ho, ho. I have a proposition for you. I think you'll like it. Indeed, Quill. Indeed. Fascinating. And yet... And yet. And yet I'm going to have to say no, because I do not trust you. There's just no way. And also, you are now weaker than me. I want your stuff. Although I have a feeling that my boom is going to come from expanding into... <laughs> what? Wait, Athens is here. Well, I guess you're still Greek, so that's possible. So I do think it's a little bit weird that people can be claiming these independent nations, like, in the middle of freaking nowhere. It's like the, um, the cost to do that are too low. Although I guess that's what the AI is just pumping all of their influence into. And hey, if this is giving me the more homogenous borders, I'm okay with that. Oh, our crossbows actually look different because we're Khmer, Khmer, not um, Western. Cool. I haven't actually seen Khmer crossbows before. Usually they look like these guys. And we can now get an extra soldier in each of our armies. I mean, for that we probably want to save uh, the space for artillery. Alright, the gunner, you're gonna Wait, chill over work. here. And we have now built all of the units that we were intending to build. So it is time for you to build more useful things, like some more districts. So ordinarily, I try to put production. Oh, we gain bonuses to production. We should be emphasizing production. That's forest, right? It's Stonefield. Yeah. Let's put you up there. Because then I could theoretically put market districts down here around this, because market districts get a adjacency next to artisan districts, I thought. Am I wrong? 